Imagine having precise control over your router lift using your Android device. The PowerLift Pro gives you just that. The PowerLift Pro Android app is not available in the Google Play Store. You'll download it from mlcswoodworking.com. After you download the file, before you click on it, you'll need to set a setting in your Android settings section. Allow installation of apps from an unknown source. And then you can click on the downloaded file, which will install the app. When you connect your Android device to the PowerLift Pro, you'll be given an option to always open the PowerLift Pro app when this type of device is connected. You should check that box, and the app will automatically open when your device is connected. At the top of the main screen are the basic controls, which allow you to get started with the lift right away. You can move the lift up by pressing the up button, and down by pressing the down button. You can control the speed of the lift, see the current position, and also set the current position to zero. Pressing the up or down button simply moves the lift at the current speed setting. Another way to move the lift up or down is to use the foot pedal, which also honors the current speed setting. Additionally, the app will indicate when the foot pedal is in use. Using a low speed setting, you can get really precise movements from the lift. Here I have the speed at 1% and I'm moving the lift by just a thousandth of an inch at a time. Here's an easy procedure to set the position of the lift to zero. I find the top of the bit by putting a straight edge over the opening and I lift up the bit ever so slightly until I see a gap. Then I move it down in small increments until that gap goes away and now I know that I have the zero position and I can set zero on the lift. If you don't have an Android device or you'd rather not keep your expensive tablet or phone in the shop, you can buy a low-cost Android tablet from MLCS Woodworking for around $50. The tablet from MLCS ships with the PowerLift Pro app already installed, so all you have to do is plug it in. The preset movement section of the app allows you to move the lift a predictable amount. The max up function will move the lift as far up as it'll go. This is determined by a micro switch underneath the router plate. When the carriage of the router lift comes in contact with that micro switch, the lift stops. This is great for positioning your router to change bits. The app will indicate that the upper limit has been reached. The max down function works much the same way. If you need to move your router lift all the way down to either remove or install your router motor, the max down function will lower your router as far as it will go. The app will indicate that the lower limit has been reached. The remaining buttons on the preset movement section will move the router lift up or down by the amount indicated on the button. It couldn't be easier. If you need to move the lift up a quarter of an inch, press the quarter of an inch button. The lift will automatically move that amount and then stop. So here I've moved the lift a quarter of an inch and then a half an inch, and we end up at three quarters of an inch. You'll get precision movements using these buttons every time. The memory position section of the app allows you to store up to six lift positions. You can use a stored lift position to easily return the lift to that location. The controls for memory positions are simple. Tap the Save button to save the current location. Tap the arrow to go to that location. You can name the location and you can clear the memory position. Memory positions are nice for incremental passes. Here I'll move the lift to the half inch position and I'll store that location in the memory position number four. This will be considered my final pass. I'll set up two other locations less than half an inch and store those as well. Locations two and three will be considered my first and second pass. When I'm done setting all the location positions, I go back and name them. First pass, second pass, third pass. To move the lift to a stored location, just tap the arrow and the lift will automatically move and stop at that location. To make the incremental passes, you move the lift to the first location, make your pass, move it to the second location, make your pass, and then move it to the final location for your last and final pass. You can use the foot pedal to cycle through stored locations. When you press the foot pedal up or down and it encounters a stored lift location, it will automatically stop at that point. This allows you to cycle through lift positions without taking your hands off the workpiece or even having to shut down your router to change the lift location. When using the up or down buttons to move the lift, you will encounter the same behavior. 
the lift will automatically stop at any stored memory position. When the lift stops at a memory position, simply take your finger off and press again to restart the movement of the lift. To go directly to a stored memory position, press the blue arrow on that row. This will bypass any other stored memory positions in between the current location and the destination. The basic section of the app allows you to get started right away. Just move the lift up or down, control the speed, see the position of the lift, and set the lift to zero. The preset movement section allows you to take the lift all the way up or all the way down, or move the lift a predetermined amount. The memory position section allows you to store up to six lift locations so that you can easily return the lift to any of those locations later on. For more videos on the PowerLift Pro or other great woodworking products, visit mlcswoodworking.com.